today's question is, how do they get bubbles in wine? You should see the fucking mess on the table. Look at this. What's going on? It's just a mess. Okay, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. Just came to me. I've got a great idea for it. Um, so hopefully it's really clear. Uh, if you do like it, please like. Please like and subscribe. I'm up to 13 now. Fantastic work, guys. It's all down to you. So fingers crossed. Um, yeah, hopefully it should be good fun. It's going to be a bit messy. And it's quite late and I've had a drink or two. So we will see. So this video, it's all about how they get the fizz. Now the important thing to remember is that really bad quality fizz is going to be pumped in, a bit like Coke. Uh, they just pump in CO2. For a soft drink, that's fine. For sparkling wine, me, 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 me. Now most of the flavour comes from yeast. Hold on. Yeast. So it's um, what they do is when they eat sugar, they produce CO2 and uh, alcohol. So the CO2, if it's trapped in the bottle, gets absorbed or trapped in the wine. It's absorbed by the wine. When you open it, out comes bubbles. Uh, but there are three ways. There's actually four. But uh, we're only looking at three because I just filmed it and used up all my chemicals. Bugger. Uh, that, um, there are three ways, and a fourth, uh, to <laughs> how to make the sparkling wine. And it all involves yeast. Now the yeast gives it a really lovely flavour. It's kind of, well the technical phrase is brioche um, But it's because it's bready. It's bread. Bread tastes of yeast and flour. But uh, yeah, it gives it a nice richness and that's what uh, makes it really special. Uh, it does need to be aged. It's about eight months uh, of ageing to get the bready smell and taste. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy. The first one we're going to do is champagne. Now in here is, let's imagine it's still water. Now champagne is fermented in bottle. So that's our bottle and it's left alone. So what we do is we have our bottle and it's full of the still wine. And then what we do, if I can get into this, is we add just a little bit. I'll just check that's on camera. We add just a touch of uh, yeast and sugar. Then we put the cap back on and we leave it well alone. Now this is left for ages with champagne, 18 months, and it's just left and left and left. And the thing is, it's in here, down the bottom, you can sort of see, there's all these little bits. Now they don't really go away for 18 whole months. So what happens is, let's see what happens. Oh, there you go. Had a bit of a, it's, uh, you have to get them out. So what they do is they filter it. Once the yeast is in the neck of the bottle, what happens then is they dip it in liquid nitrogen. They, f a bit of wine pours out. They pour, some more in with some more sugar and then they put the cork on. This whole process happens in a matter of a second or two. Really quick, very loud, very impressive. So the same mixture here, but what happens is, is that they do, it's called the transfer method. Now a lot of wines that say bottle fermented do this, but what they do is they add it in they add their yeast and their sugar and they create their bubbles. Now this is nicely bubbling away. So they'll leave it and they leave it and they leave it. But the thing is, I don't want to mix this up too much otherwise it'll explode. But what they do is rather than fiddling about trying to get it out of each bottle, pain in the bum, pain in the bum, what they do, they pour it into a giant tank. It. the wine's still got all the bubbles in and then they filter it in the tank and then put it under in a bottle so what happens is it's just a lot easier so you don't have to worry about filling them out or anything like that 
It's just really simple. So that is called the transfer method. And you'll see it on some sparkling wines as bottle fermented. Because it is bottled in, it is fermented in a bottle, but they sort of do the fiddly bit in something else. This last one is called the Charmat method. Uh, it's used for Prosecco. And what they do is they get their normal wine and they get all their, their wine and it's all sorted. And they add, they put it into a big stainless steel tank. And this is all going to be under pressure. So they put that in there and then they put, seal it all up. And so these are vast tanks rather than just my little thing here. And then what they do is they push, pump it under pressure once it's all ready to go. They pump it back into the bottle. So imagine pouring into the bottle from there under pressure. So it means they don't have to do any fiddly stuff involving bottles. So it means the production process is really cheap. Now the problem is, I'm just going to let it before this explodes everywhere. Science in action. The problem is, is that that doesn't give as much flavour to the wine, the yeast, as just bottle uh, fermenting it, secondary fermentation in bottle. So yeah, that's why Prosecco production method is so much cheaper, because it's easier, because they just make a big, a big stainless steel tank, put it under pressure, bosh, pump it into a bottle, job done, it's there, it's in your table, in your hand, within a couple of weeks. Whereas champagne, 18 months guys, 18 months. Don't be mean to champagne, 18 months. So that's how you make sparkling wine. So you've got the champagne method or traditional method, method champenoise, all the others, which is when uh, you do the secondary fermentation in bottle. So you've got your still wine and then you make it go through a secondary fermentation so the yeast is acting again and it's eating all those sugars, num, 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 num turning it CO2, going into the wine. That's all happening in bottle. Now it depends where you're doing it, what's happening, Carver does it, Champagne does it, uh, so a lot of the Cremons does it. Uh, I can't remember if Set does it. Hmm. Well, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, so that's cool. Then you've got a transfer method, mainly New World. Cheaper way to make a bottle fermented sparkling wine. And finally you have the tank method, or sh um, sorry, the Charmot method, or Charmat method, which is done by Prosecco, um, or actually sometimes called method Asti. There is the fourth way I talked about, just to let you know, is you actually don't let fermentation fully finish, and then you bottle it. So when you open it, lots and lots of CO2 exploding everywhere. Not pretty. No, no. People have lost an eye. quite tired it's very late anyhow thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it the reason i'm whispering that way is a little boy's bedroom that way is a little girl's bedroom it sounds really seedy it's actually my house so i don't want to wake my kids up because otherwise this video stops being fun and starts being annoying so thanks very much anyhow hope you enjoy it all and take care bye